Today I'm doing a mixture of things. I'm sterilizing some little jars because I'm going to can some mandarins today in a very light syrup. You try and remove as much of the white as you can. You can either leave them whole or break them into segments, your choice. I usually break mine into segments, so you just peel them, take as much white as you want off, and then I just, I'll just put them in the bowl here. You try not to pierce them. Uh, they will lose some flavor into the syrup if you do, so you just try your best. You definitely want to get the center piece out, so if you were doing them whole, you just kind of push your little finger through the middle and that way you can get it out. But I always remember those little cans of oranges or mandarins. I used to just eat them like crazy. So whenever I get these on sale or reduced, have too many, sometimes I buy a veg box, veg fruit box and it's got lots in it, then I sometimes make um, a little bit of mandarin marmalade even and uh, so so I'm just going to continue segmenting these and removing the white pith well the jars are ready to come out they're sterilized Just wanted to show you that you can push out the center with your finger. Grab that out if you want to make these whole. It's a good idea to have a hole in the center because then the the whatever you're canning it with, um, a light syrup or even water, then yeah. But if you can with water, it will take the flavor away from the mandarins. I'm going to make a very, very, very light syrup. Mandarins all peeled. Um, the white pith removed, and they're all segmented. So I have my sterile jars here, and I'm just going to pack them in. Not sure how many I will need. So you can use oranges or clementines as well. It's the same method. Okay, there's about half an inch space there. Next one, three jars ready. Now I'm going to make my light syrup. For two cups of water, I only use a quarter of a cup of sugar. So it's like an eighth of a cup for each cup of water. I may do three cups of water here. So. water it would be three eighths so I'm going to use a quarter of a cup and an eighth of a cup I'm going to heat that to boiling and then I will fill the jars well it has come to a boil so I'm going to pour it into my jars. You need to leave half an inch at the top. Any leftover syrup, I, um, I save in a jar in the fridge for another time. So, so I poured the syrup in. There's a half an inch space at the top. And... Um, I do not have a, 
canner. And this is the biggest pot I own, but it will only fit the little jars. And I use this rack in the bottom. And I, I will can the, I will water bath can these for about 15 minutes at a boil. For now, just finger tight the lids and the rings. Whoops. And just, I'm just going to pop them in here. Here I have some rhubarb that I've chopped up and I'm going to stew this. So I'm going to measure it up for my sugar ratio. So I think it's about four cups I have here. Maybe a little wee bit more. Okay. About four and a half cups. So I'm going to put that in the pot. I'm going to add just a splash of water. So I'm going to add about a couple of tablespoons of water. Good enough. And then I'll add some sugar. So in there I have four and a half cups of rhubarb that I've chopped up and it's been washed and everything. I have a couple of tablespoons of water and I'm going to add half a quarter, a scant half a cup of sugar. And I'm going to bring that to a simmer and cook it till the rhubarb has broken down and the sugar is dissolved. Breaking down here, if you want it a little tartar, you don't have to add as much sugar. Some people add more and you can add some cinnamon if you would like. Now, the rhubarb, stewed rhubarb is done and I'm gonna fill two jars with that if I can. Then after the mandarins are done, I will water bath these as well and put them on the shelf. And the leftovers I'm going to eat. The mandarins are ready to come out. So. Just use my pot holders here. Yes, I make things out of everything. Whoops, I got that handle a little wet. Okay. Now I'm going to put the these two in. And do that for the same amount of time. Until about 15, 20 minutes. I'm just going to Tighten these jar lids. And wait for them to seal. Let's put them back here. Meanwhile, I've cut out some little labels and I will write on them um, what it is and the date I made it and put them on the jars. They're hot. And we're done with that. I've got some eggplant here I got reduced and a little squash so I'm going to be scrubbing them up. Well I've washed the eggplant and I'm just gonna cut the ends off here. Just gonna look for any rough bits here at the skin. Might take a little bit of that off. Now I love moussaka and I like eggplant parmigiana. Or parmesan, I don't know how you pronounce it. I do my own variations of both. And I love just um, 
eggplant roasted in the oven in either rounds or strips and just eating them right off the pan. So that one's pretty good. I'll start for the next one. Now what I'm going to do is I have these containers and I cut it in rounds and I just freeze it. And that's ready for my dishes that I make. them in here. There's that one. Got some small slices off this one. Three containers of eggplant slices for the freezer. Some chopped up for a stir fry. And then some made into sticks, which I'm going to put on my pan here. And I'm going to make some eggplant fries for a snack. And I've got my squash. I have scrubbed this and I am going to freeze this in chunks but with this the skin still on it. And then when you roast it after it's roasted you could take the outside off if you want or if it's tender you can just eat it. I double bag it. And I will label it. And then that's ready to go. Lots of stuff ready to be put away. It was prep day. <laughs> <laughs> 